Friday, 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 Friday. I was waiting a week for this. It's Friday and that's a fact. It's Friday fact, yeah. A new fact every Friday. Depending on the Logic App type you are using, Logic App Standard or Logic App Consumption, you will notice that each of them has different name size limits. Let's have a look to the Logic App Consumption name restrictions. The name of Logic App Consumption must be fewer than or equal to 80 characters, but it also contains the following restrictions. The name can only contain letters, numbers, and dashes, parenthesis, underscore, or dot. The Logic App name must be unique within a resource group. You can use both lowercase and uppercase letters. The name can finish with any valid character, including dashes or underscore. Now, let's have a look on the Logic App Standard name restrictions. The name of your Logic App Standard resource must be fewer than or equal to 43 characters, but it also contains the following restrictions. The names only allow alphanumeric characters and hyphens. The Logic App name must be unique within a subscription. You can use both lowercase and uppercase letters. The name cannot start or end in a hyphen. However, inside Logic App Standard, workflow names also have different rules. Both stateful and stateless workflow names must be fewer than or equal to 255 characters. The name must be unique within a Logic App Standard. The name can only contain letters, numbers, 0 to 9, dashes, and underscores. You can use both lowercase and uppercase letters. Workflow names must start with a letter and finish with a letter or number. Workflow names cannot have two symbols, dashes, or underscores together. Hope you find this helpful. If you enjoyed the content or found it useful, and see you next Friday for another fact.